This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 27 of the Space Marine Thunderfire Cannon tutorial. Uh, we're going to start off by creating some greeble bolt things. So create a cylinder, convert to editable poly, inset this a bit, extrude. Okay, select the edges, chamfer. Okay, go to the front view here, copy it over, okay, actually just center it up a little more, bring it down, alright, um, bring it over here, copy it, alright, and let's Bring it over here. Oh, not good. Over here. Bring them up. All right. Now we've got a little bit of detail going on there. Um, you'd think that it would be chamfered a bit somewhere here, but I don't see that anywhere. So I'm just going to assume it doesn't exist, so select this polygon, edge, and ooh. yeah, first let's fix this, so target weld, that, Never mind, that to that. And let's see what that did. Okay. Cut from from there to there. Just press backspace on that edge. Select this polygon, make sure there's not one on the other side, which of course there is. So, uh, I'm just going to cut again, there to there, edge, backspace, and back, oops, wrong one, backspace, make sure you get the vertex as well. Polygon, edges, and it's looking better now. So chamfer, make sure nothing is weird. Alright, looks pretty good. So make the chamfer about 0 0.242. <coughs> um save. Then Good. Let me just do a quick render of this. Alright, once I rendered it out, um, we have a few mistakes. That's why I like to render, because I can watch the image be created. So, this has to be extended, and we need some detail here, so I'm going to put one big bolt in the center there. Alright. Just delete that. So, let's go down here first. Select vertex and just drag it so it's hidden. Okay, next let's just copy one of these big bolts to the center here. Alright, bring it out. Uh, let's just align it there. Alright, looks pretty good. And sink it in. Lastly, let's just Bit. And we'll uh, loop and chamfer these because it'll be a bigger piece. Okay, that part is done, I believe. Now I'll have to 
do some work with whatever this is because I have absolutely no idea what it is so I'm gonna make up all of it let's go with box and create a box um, convert to editable poly select these back verts here and just move them oops, sorry, up and out so you can't uh, see them from the bottom there I can't really show you but okay and drag this over here edge uh, select this inside edge here and let's just drag it out select these connect and drag it down. All right. Um, then we'll select these and chamfer. All right. And we'll just go to the front view here, and we'll bring it over. Okay. Good. And yeah. I like the look at that. Next we will um, add some cylinder things. So just create a cylinder on the bottom of that. Bring it down. <coughs> Right, give it 12 sides because it'll be a less noticeable piece. And center it up as best you can. And we'll create two of them for now. Make a box, bring it back, bring it up a bit to edit the quality, select the top, um, top edges chamfer, alright, looks pretty good, next we will pretend that this is maybe has a hatch or something, so make a box right about here, yeah, if it's kind of slow right now, it's because I'm rendering out um, one of these videos for YouTube, so it slows down my computer a bit with all these things running. So convert to editable poly, and let's make some type of handle. So connect twice, bring it down, increase the print or the pinch. Bring it down a bit more. Okay. Um, connect. Put both of these to zero. Okay. Make that four. Select this polygon and this polygon. Make sure locals on. Scale them. Extrude about point four. Then select each one individually and uh, hinge from edge, pick hinge, 30 and 1, hinge, 30 and 1, select both of them, extrude, and bridge, press grow a few times, oops, one less, delete that. Let's not mesh with. Let's just select the edges and deselect those. Those will be okay, actually. Yeah, we'll do that next part. That's
that's it.